Um, what was your question? No, Ibn Wahab, um, the, 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 the school which doesn't like to call itself by its name uh, is from a man whose name was Ibn Abdul Wahab. Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahab. So they're called Wahhabis uh, because of the fact that their teacher was Ibn Abdul Wahab. Now they don't like to be called by that name and that's very strange. It's like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with it? I mean, isn't he your teacher? Didn't, don't you follow his books? But they don't, they say, no, we, we're not Wahhabis. And uh, they would do very well to say it, we're Wahhabis. Say, I'm a Wahhabi. I follow Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. He's just, that's just being honest. You know, and then Allah would not be hard on them. Say, okay, that's your teacher. I'll deal with your teacher. Right? But then if you say, I'm a Salafi, and may Allah bless our brothers and sisters who are Salafis, they're not our enemies. We're not out to speak evil of them. We want to talk to them. We want to discuss. You want to follow the Quran and the Sunnah? So do I. So why don't we talk about it? You believe that this verse means that? Well, let's look at it. Maybe it means that. Maybe it means something else. Okay? But when you call yourself a Salafi, that's very very dangerous for you not for me why is that so because as uh, our great masters say beware of the maker of claims beware of the maker of claims i am this i am that i am this shaykh abdul qadir jilani may allah be pleased with him he says man ja'ala li nafsihi waznan fala wazna lah wa man ja'ala li nafsihi qadran fala qadra lah he said, whoever gives himself a special weight has no weight at all. Whoever gives himself a special status has no status at all. Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani had a huge effect on his generation. He is the Shaykh of Salah al-Din Ayyubi. He is the Shaykh of Nur al-Din Zengi. He is the liberator of Palestine. He is the liberator of Syria. He is the one who liberates Jerusalem. He's a huge figure in history. And once this um, Rafidi, Rafidis are people who reject the Sahaba. This Rafidi came to him. He said, oh, Shaykh Abdul Qadir, you're from Ahlul Bayt, mashallah. You're Hassani Husseini, and you're so great. And you've had such an effect on our time. What do you say about Muawiyah? Ah, that's what you want to ask, right? What do you say about Muawiyah? Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani said, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, he said, I am not worth the dust under the feet of the camel of Muawiyah when he made jihad with the Prophet That's true. He's not exaggerating. He said, I'm not worth the dust under the feet of the camel of Muawiyah when he made jihad with the Prophet. Case closed. He doesn't make claims, right? Beware of the maker of claims. And, you know, when you look at so-called Sufis and others, may Allah guide them, but beware of the maker of claims. I am this, I am that, I am this, I am that. Beware. Because most of them, and they're right, they don't talk about themselves. You know, um, okay, so if you say you're a Salafi, that's a claim, right? Because you're saying, no, I'm not a Wahhabi. There's nothing wrong with being a Wahhabi. You follow Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you, if you want to say that, then you'll be okay. Okay, but you say you're a Salafi, then you say, no, no, I'm like Abu Bakr. I'm like Umar. I'm like Uthman. I'm like Imam Ali. I'm like Mu'adh ibn Jabal. Uh oh, you are? Because I'm not. Let me out of here. I'm not like Umar ibn al-Khattab. I have his name, Umar al-Farooq. I remember the first time I went to Iran, which was a year after the revolution, I was invited. I was very political in those days. And I didn't know much about our brothers, you know. And they'd come up to me and they'd say, Ya akhi al-Kareem, masmuk. I say, Umar al-Farooq. It's just like, pow, you know. They just, whoa, Satan. 
It's like, no, no, not Satan at all. Umar al-Farooq, you know. And then I got to where I liked that, you know. It's like every time I say, Umar al-Farooq. And they, mm, okay, well, let's, let me out of here, you know. But uh, Umar al-Farooq was great. These are the greatest human beings that walked the earth. Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman. Imam Ali loved Umar. You know, with a love that has no measure. He married his daughter to, Imam, to, to Umar. And Imam, and who are the sons of Imam Ali? Hassan, Hussein, Muhsin, Muhammad, Ibn al Hanafiyya, and Umar al Asghar, Umar al Akbar, and Abu Bakr, and others. Imam Ali had more than one wife after Fatima's death. May Allah be pleased with her. And, you know, of his children, he has big Umar and little Umar. Who else has two children named Umar? Imam Ali. And all the Imams of Ahlul Bayt, you'll see they all have Umar. Zayn al Abidin. He has Umar al Ashraf. Why? Because this is their flesh and blood. Ja'far al Sadiq, may Allah be pleased with him. He says, Abu Bakr gave me birth twice because he's directly related to Abu Bakr through his mother and his grandmother. He's proud of that. You know, these are beautiful people. You know, we love the Sahaba. All of them. Imam Ali, when Umar was dying, Imam Ali comes up to him and he said, this is Sahih in Bukhari and Muslim. He said, you have not left on the face of the earth anyone whom I would rather meet Allah with actions like his than you. You haven't left us anybody. This Imam Ali, he loved Umar and Umar loved him. And anyone who says the contrary, excuse me, is lying. Allah says in the Quran how great the Sahaba are. Lil fuqara al muhajirin, aladin ukhriju min diyarihim wa amwalihim, yabtaguna fadlan min Allahi wa ridwanan, wa yansuruna Allah wa rasulahu, ulaika humus sadiqun. That's about the muhajirin. That's about Abu Bakr. That's about Umar. These are the greatest people in history. What do you have to say? The wives of the Prophet, Ahlul Bayt, always begins with the wives. And Allah says, وَأَزْوَاجُهُ أُمَّهَاتُهُمْ Right? And his wives are your, kum, are your mothers. Don't talk about my mother. You talk about my mother, you'd be in trouble. You know, I had a 